is up? It is Hobbs back here for your Wild Eye Wednesday. Today we are going to be reviewing Harvest of Horror. It's the Season of Death. <laughs> Wild Eye Extreme title. Number 50. Let's see if I can show the back. I think I can show the back. So what you have here is you have this couple that is out on this drive right and they end up getting to a place where they kind of have to slow down a little bit in the woods and in the process they start to tell each other these kind of creepy stories about some things they've learned histories whether you know it's fake whether you know it's real they are stories and basically what this film is is a compilation almost like an anthology it doesn't tie together of different stories of different things that are going on. Now this film is only 70 minutes long. Came out in 2020. And this is under Fuzzy Monkey Production. So you know it's going to be out of control and crazy and silly and zany. Now uh, with this, basically as the stories go, things start to happen. Actually with them. And... As they're telling the stories, you get a compilation of different things from different stories that are made up. Some are true. Uh, the first two stories, to me, were the best. As the first story involved a younger girl who was inviting people over to their her parents' house when they were gone to tell the people outside, like a mailman or like a delivery man, that she can't get things out of her closet that she needed some help and then let's just say when they come in there wild things start to happen and people start to get picked off one by one almost like a setup right and then the second anthology part of the anthology was uh, basically you have vampire women in it that are trying to kill you have demon vampire women in it that are trying to kill uh, you have serial killers on the loose you have a killer clown on the loose just a compilation of things with this. It's just basically an anthology of stories, right? Now, as far as the extreme side of this film, yes, it is an extreme film. Um, let me give you my thoughts on this one. This is going to be a, a shorter one, guys. I don't have a lot of time, and I wanted to get this one out there. If you guys like anthologies, it might be for you, but I'm going to give you a disclaimer. There is some pretty hardcore revenge rape revenge scenes in this film and if that's not your cup of tea uh, you probably would not enjoy this to be honest with you um, not saying that that's my cup of tea either but you may not enjoy it in this particular film I kind of feel like the one scene that they had kind of took me out of the film I felt like it took way too long and they could have focused on some of the other parts of the stories more and made that last longer versus that one particular scene with kind of like the rape revenge scenario. Which, by the way, I've never seen that on an anthology before. Uh, kind of like I spit on your grave, that type of scenario. All into like a 10 or 15 minute anthology uh, scenario. Just never seen that before. It was different. But um, the, last, the last scene I didn't particularly care for either. The last uh, segment. I don't know. I mean, the first half of the film, I dug it. I really dug it. And then the second half just felt a little flat for me. So, for me personally, this isn't for me. But you guys might like it if you like extreme horror. Extreme, extreme horror. You know, there's always going to be decapitations or body parts being cut off. Things like that. That's not a problem for me. It's just the execution. And uh, I just would have preferred to see more of the first couple stories. I feel like they focus more on the nudity and the rape revenge scene in the third sequence and you know it just was a little bit over the top this time but uh anyways guys this is Hobbs Horror I hope you had a wonderful day and uh, that is my review of Harvest of Horror go check out Wild Eye Releasing I want to thank you guys for sending me this copy of your review I want to thank Wild Eye Releasing and hope you guys have a great day peace